Hi, this is Brian Oliva at Gethsemane Music. Today we're going to do a firmware upgrade on the new Moog Muse. We'll start by going to the Moog Music website and go to the Muse section and find the download for firmware. Current version is 1.1.0 as we do this. Once it's downloaded, locate the Moog Muse firmware file and store it wherever you want to keep it. I keep all my Moog files in a separate folder under Moog files. And that way if I have to redo something, I still have them right there. So I'm going to drag the firmware folder into my archive Moog files folder. There's two files in this uh, zip file. The first is uh, a PDF file that describes everything going on in the firmware update. It's kind of like a little mini manual. Gives you the highlights, the update procedure, uh, new features, improvements, new tables that are added to the uh, to the manual, which is only online at this point. And that's everything you need to know about it. So the first step in actually doing it is to plug a USB cord into the USB B port on the back of the Muse and hook it up to your computer. Once you've done that, hold down the select key, the select encoder, hold it down and reboot the Muse. That should put it into disk mode. As soon as disk mode is activated, you should find that the Moog Muse is now showing as a folder on your computer. Open that folder. And you'll see it contains three other folders. The one we're interested in today is the one, the firmware. I'm going to open that folder, and that's actually looking into the Moog Muse at this time. So you see there's only one file in there. It's the Moog Muse firmware.bin file. And if you look up above in the down file we downloaded, there's another file with the same name there. That's the new firmware update. The first step you're going to have to do is to delete the firmware file that's already in the Muse. You can do that just by dragging it into the trash or deleting it. Once that's done, you can just drag the firmware file, the new firmware file, into that same folder. That should be the only file in there, and there should only be one. Once the new firmware file is in that folder, you're done. All you have to do now is to eject the Moog Muse. Make sure you do that because if you don't, it can trash the entire synthesizer and you might have to send it back uh, to get a brain transplant. Uh, so make sure you just eject it. Once it's ejected, all that should disappear. Once that's done, all you have to do is shut it off. Wait a few seconds, turn it back on and it should boot up with a new firmware installed and you're back in business.